Well, good afternoon to all of you. And thank you, Kim. I'm truly honored to receive this award and thank everyone that had a part in me being chosen. Being presented this award by Kim, a former workshop student of mine, is especially sweet. And I also want to thank Susan Murphy, a good friend of mine, a cabinet and furniture graduate that nominated me. She became a good friend of mine after taking workshops. Um, and um, my career as a furniture maker, wood turner, and teacher started here in the workshop program, now known as the Continuing Ed. Uh, my first of three workshops was Fundamentals of Fine Woodworking. And that was uh, in the summer of 1992, and Will Neptune and Tanya Wilkie were the instructors. And I was not sure what to expect as I walked up the street to take that class. I wondered if I would be taken seriously as a woman trying to learn woodworking. Uh, my worries were quickly dissolved by this dynamic duo of instructors. Tanya was the assistant, but it was clear that Will value, valued her skills and abilities as a furniture maker and a teacher. And my positive experience in that class has stayed with me throughout my career as a, a student, an instructor, and an, an administrator here at the workshop program. In 1993, I knew I needed to follow this path of learning everything I could about how to work with wood using my hands might sound familiar to some of you. I couldn't ignore it, so I applied to the full-time program and started as a student on January 2nd, 1995. Yeah, I do remember the day and the date. It was cold and it was rainy, but I was so excited. I felt like the luckiest person on the, on the planet. Lance Patterson, Alex Kretzky, Will Neptune, and Paula Garbarino were my instructors, and I thank them. An immense thanks. They gave me the opportunity to learn in a professional environment, encouraged me to challenge myself, and exposed me to a world that I had only read about in books or watched on television with Norm Abram. During the two years as a full-time student, I worked for the workshop program, purchasing the, the lumber, milling the materials, etc. I assisted in the workshops prior to graduating and started teaching shortly after graduating. And then in February of 1997, I was hired to run the workshop program, which I did for the, la the next 10 years. And this really was an important opportunity for me. Um, and it was an opportunity to help ensure that anyone, male or female, would be able to learn in a professional environment just like I had experienced, and in a time frame that worked to my schedule. And I would like to thank all of the craftspeople that I hired to teach in the workshops for their hard work and professionalism. They were the ones that made and continue to make the workshop program successful. So I wondered how did I get to this spot being awarded this Distinguished Alumni Award of this year. There are so many graduates that are worthy of this award. But two things do come to mind that have always had a common thread in my career. And they, these two things, or variations of these, might have made it possible for me to be here today. They're kind of an odd combination, but here goes. One is a portion of a speech by the 30th President of the United States, Calvin Coolidge. And the other is a quote used by Maine Beer Company. The portion of the speech by President Coolidge is about persistence. And I have a copy of it hanging in my shop and by my desk, and I see it every day. And I quote, nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. The Maine Beer Company of Freeport, Maine, has a quote they put on their bottled beer. Do what's right. It's a quote used by a lot of people. Um, but I like Maine Beer Company. <laughs> Especially their King Titus Porter. Uh, as a cabinet and furniture student, I learned to be persistent, to not give up, to recover from my mistakes, and move on. 
Perhaps the most important thing I learned as a student was to fix my mistakes. Lance Patterson taught me they were not mistakes, they were design opportunities. Thank you, Lance. I was also taught to do what's right in building furniture, to not let anything go out the door to a customer that was not right, because that's your reputation. As the director of the workshop program, I used persistence and determination to build the program from very small beginnings to what it currently resembles. Persistence and determination will serve you well when you have conflict in your jobs or your projects. I was faced with conflicts in my job as the workshop director, as most everybody does in their jobs. But I knew that I would prevail, prevail with persistence, determination, and doing what's right. As the workshop director, I always tried to do what was right for the students and what was right for the teaching staff. And in the end, that became what was right for the school. My work as a teacher in woodworking, of woodworking and wood turning continues. I teach classes here, mostly bowl turning, which I'll actually be doing tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, but I also teach woodworking full time to students and faculty that use the wood shop at Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. It's not for credit, it's for their enjoyment, as it has been for the past 65 years. In the three years that I've been there full time, we've seen an increase in the number of women coming into the shop, and maybe it's because they see me working in there, there's a woman working in the shop. But I also have a you know, same number, equal number of male students wanting me to help them as well. Many of them want to turn bowls. Word, word, word travels fast. It's a quite powerful thing to teach someone to make something with their hands. It exposes them to things they will, have never experienced. Some have never picked up a tool in their life. This is an important job that I have as a role model and a teacher. And nothing gives me greater pleasure in seeing that light bulb come on when students get what I'm teaching them, or seeing them produce award-winning work, like this year's cabinet and furniture grad, Timas, uh, done with her award-winning bowl. It means I've done my job, and I hope that all of my students will be successful in using what I've taught them, enhancing their life, lives in a way that working with your hands can do. I still have a lot to do. All of the graduates today have a lot to do. Good luck to all of you. Be persistent, be determined, do what's right, drink good beer, <laughs> go out there and become distinguished alums. Thank you all very much.